for students, March is all about midterms and spring break, which means most of us are feeling stress from studying and pressure from planning. But after the last midterm is complete and the final bag is packed, we'll all be escaping in search of solitude. There's a place right here in St. Paul where anyone can find solitude anytime. As snow melts and puddles grow, St. Thomas students prepare for spring. But just minutes away is a place where spring is the only season. It's been spring at the Como Park Conservatory since it was built more than 100 years ago. Oh yeah, you're coming out of uh, cold Minnesota into the tropics. The glasses steam up and you wipe them off, but I mean, uh, oh, just look at these plants here. Look at orchids blooming all over the place and everything else. But for every pink azalea or purple snapdragon, there is a volunteer who nurtured it. Jim is one of 250 volunteers at the conservatory. And they know uh, a lot of tasks would not be done if there wasn't volunteers. Gardening is nothing new to many of the volunteers. Jim got his start 70 years ago. Oh, like when I was in, uh, I think in kindergarten, I brought home a, an apple tree. And my dad looked at it and he said, that thing will never grow, but we planted it anyway. And it grew and it was there for many years. I've been a, a certified tree inspector, um, some other kind of uh, shade tree consultant. And uh, so I've, I've been keeping pretty busy. But Jim's surrounded by more than towering greens and blossoming flowers. The conservatory has everything from tropical fish to trickling fountains. So it's, it's got quite a reputation. And this building itself is, uh, there's only a couple of these uh, Victorian style buildings left in the world. The staff here is great. I know most of these for all these years. And uh, uh, we help one another. I just do whatever they need doing. With videographer Eric Larson, this is Mandy Hoffman for Campus Scope.